barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Join the Patreon. Listen, I, like I said, I got time today. I'm going to tell you something. See, here's the catch. When black people do this, or Latinos do it, people who perceived as unintelligent as them, they're perceived as liars, cheaters, scammers. But let me tell you what ESPN did and Bob Arum did and that whole clan. Uh, uh, Andre Ward, Timothy Bradley, all them motherfuckers conspired a plan. Here's what they did. They locked up Deontay Wilder into negotiations with Tyson Fury or in hopes of landing a Tyson Fury fight, right? So what? So you wouldn't negotiate with Anthony Joshua or any other or any other heavyweight. Because here's the catch. There's no such thing as a lineal heavyweight champion of the world when you're dealing with networks over here in America. No fucking such thing. He has no mandatories. He has no he has no requirements. He has no obligations to no to, to no sanctioning body, no network. They tied everything up, right? What they did was they went over to Eddie Hearn. They negotiated with Eddie Hearn just to tie them up beyond their April 13th deadline. Uh, and, and maybe Eddie Hearn used them too or what have you. I, I don't know who gained the leverage on that. And they also tied up Deontay Wilder, right? Why? Because they knew they were going over to ESPN. That deal was in negotiations for quite some time. Don't listen to Frank Warren when he said, uh, uh, um, cut this AC off. Don't listen to him when he says, this deal just got done last week. This deal, maybe the deal got signed last week because of contractual obligations and the lawyers had to, had to get on it. You understand? And, uh. I'm not knocking their business savviness, but what I but what I but what I want everyone to understand is they're gonna use you until they can no longer use you, and this is a great example of it of economics in the world 101. They gonna shame y'all. They gonna shame me. They gonna shame you for saying I'm gonna use the white man to gain the leverage. Oh, you're racist. You're this. You're that. You're X Y. Listen. I'm telling all my fighters, it's an extension of last video. This was a plan. Re remember, uh, remember uh, uh, Andre Ward's tweet? Andre Ward tweet say you should just move on and go fight Anthony Joshua. Forget about Deontay Wilder, just move on. Andre Ward's tweet, Frank Warren's, between Andre Ward's tweet Frank Warren tying up Eddie Hearn and Deontay Wilder to get the ESPN deal. I have no doubt in my mind. You understand? It's like, it's like all my men out there, when you got two dates, right? When you're trying to choose, or, or my female subscribers, when you got an option to go out with two men, I'll hit you back at 6.30. Right? You weigh in your options. Which option is better? I know it's apples and oranges, but that's a simple example of the re of the realities of what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilder. And some may say he won up them, he did this, he did that. But let me tell you this. Tyson Fury still has no one to fight. No one makes money at the heavyweight division unless those three fight each other. Excuse me, forgive me when I say money. I'm talking about generational wealth type money with one check. You know, uh... I, uh, let me get on this freeway real quick. It's just, uh, they're going to call you a racist. They're going to call, they're going to call you crazy. They call Dave Chappelle crazy. I don't know the intimacies of his deal, but they convinced all the black people that Dave Chappelle was crazy. Callan Kaepernick was crazy. He gave away a million dollars while he was unemployed. They gonna call you crazy, man. They gonna call you crazy. Why? Because they not monetizing your ass. All right? And when they feel they have the advantage, they gonna leverage that advantage to make more money, as in Tyson Fury. I said it in my last video. Tyson Fury fought three fights in the past three years. Two fights, very underwhelming exceptionally underwhelming last fight 
great fight. Does that warrant a hundred million dollar contract? And it may be in a, it may be an escalator or an elevator type contract, you know, based on maybe a performance based contract. We don't know this, and we'll obviously never know the true details of the contract or what they have to do. Uh, Deontay Wilder didn't call him a duck. He fucking ducked. This is a duck beyond duck. I'm talking about in terms of the competition portion of it. You can say, well, he went and got his money, which is the right thing to do. But in terms of a competitive, from a competitive standpoint, it's a duck. It's a duck. Now watch how white media and ESPN and, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, shit. All these other major networks going to spin this narrative. Tyson Fury gets the biggest deal in the heavyweight division. In the history of the heavy. Watch how they spin it. Watch how they spin it. Watch how they spin it and protect each other. If you have power in this game and you are black or and or Latino, leverage it and win. That's why I fucks with um, Mikey Garcia and them. That's why I fuck with Earl Spence and them in terms of their business savvy and their business acumen. They ain't gonna fuck with you when they can't use you. So make sure you got something in place that will consistently make you money. You the motherfuckers that are taking punches. ESPN. Bob Arum, Frank Warren, they did some. It was it's it's called dirty business now. Dirty business. I'm not gonna kid you and say it's it's not dirty business. It's fucking dirty business. You understand? Deontay Wilder extended an olive branch to Tyson Fury, brought him out of uh, brought him out of the sinkhole or the abyss that he was in. And basically changed his life. Deontay Wilder is responsible for for changing Tyson Fury's the legacy of Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? No doubt in my mind. This is just flat out. You know what I mean? I want you guys to understand this pragmatically. You know, um, it's not. I'm not. Listen. I want you guys to fully grasp what I'm saying. I'm not mad at them for making a business deal, but what I'm trying to explain to you is that you are disposable you are disposable when it comes to this shit don't think that they're gonna love you and care for you forever there's no retirement plan in boxing you know there's no health care plan in boxing they don't give a damn and you shouldn't give a damn so make sure you continue to fight for you obviously take the best fight you can possibly can and make sure you're handsomely rewarded but this was dirty business. They dirty Mac. Uh, they dirty Mac Deontay Wilder. Be and and I and the irony about this is, as they say, as they say in, in, in American economics, black people are the most forgiving people ever in the fucking in the face of this planet. You don't see fucking soul food restaurants in Chinatown or J Japanese town, J Town, or in the Jewish community. But what what you see in the black community? I live in Baldwin Hills. Ladera Heights area. What you see? Chinese food restaurants. Italian restaurants. You don't see fucking soul food restaurants in Little Italy. We're the most fucking forgiving people on the face of this fucking earth. And it's and it's time that we understand. Boxing fans, it's time that you understand. Young fighters, it's time that you understand reality. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat nothing for you. I, I don't give a damn if I piss the best promoter in the world off. I don't care. Y'all black and brown brothers must fucking understand reality. You are a commodity until they can't use you no more. And if they feel they can use you to get to where they need to be, guess what they gonna do? They gonna use you to get to where they need to be. Tyson Fury never came out and said anything throughout this whole, this whole, this whole thing. And, um. This is a great example of business in America. This is a great example of it. You know, they're going to call you crazy. That's why I always tell you guys in my videos, I'm always hesitant to report news, negative news on, on black people when it comes from mainstream media. You know, like the Chris Brown thing in Paris. I never reported that shit. I was like, I'm going to let this shit play out. Or the, the guy from Empire. I'm going to let this shit play out. You know what I mean? Was it positive or negative? I'm going to let it play out until we have an answer. I'm not going to jump to conclusions because 
they will tear you to shreds. Now, now what they gonna say? Wilder ducked Anthony Joshua, and he ducked Tyson Fury. That's gonna be the narrative. I'm telling you, that's gonna be the narrative. He didn't want to fight. He didn't take the offer. Watch next week when they make an offer, when they make a bullshit offer to Deontay Wilder. He's not fighting Deontay Wilder if there's a five fight deal on the table. He's not fighting him. Why would from a business from a business standpoint, why would you want to fight him in the first deal, in the first fight? So let this be a lesson learned. ESPN, Frank Warren, and Bob Arum dirty macked uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, Al Heyman, and and, and 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 this is why I tell you guys in all my videos. This is why I tell you guys in all my videos. I as uh, as I can. They don't want to see a black man succeed. They don't want to see a Mexican man on top. They don't. They don't, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you in my heart of hearts. Like it, love it, or hate it. They, they, they're using Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward. They're using them. It ain't no equity. There ain't no equality there. It's not. They're being used. And I genuinely believe that. That tweet by Andre Ward... Based off what I've known about Andre Ward in the past and the conversation that I had with him, that's not Andre Ward speaking. It's not. It's not. They're going to use you, man. They dirty mac them. And, and Deontay Wilder was fair. He offered him a 50-50 split. I don't know what the final negotiation was, but when they started the negotiations, Deontay Wilder was fair. Was fair and open to him. He was honest with him. And, uh, and guess what happens? They're going to get you, man. They're going to lie. They're going to be deceitful. Frank Warren was over here as humble as he can be. But as soon as he got with one of his compadres, Bob Arum and Top Rank, guess what they did? They X'd you out. They didn't include you in the deal. They didn't include a uh, Deontay Wilder uh, Tyson Fury fight. That wasn't in the deal. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like It's a dirty game out here. It's a fucking dirty game out here. It's a dirty game out here. And once you grasp that and accept it you're gonna win i'm at the tesla station and now i'm charging my car <laughs> so it's like every day i gotta go hold on let me put let me plug it in real quick i'll be back so at the end of the day I'm going to say this because we live in a world of realities. We don't live in a world of imagination. Uh, get your money. All your fighters, get your money because they're going to use you. Don't get used. Don't wake up one morning and realize that you've been used. Okay? This Send this to your favorite video. I mean, send this to your favorite fighter, your favorite promoter, whatever the case may be, your minority promoter. They're going to use you and spit you out. So anyways, man, uh, barbershop comment. I got time today. I told you I got time. So I got some more videos coming today and uh, we off and run. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.